You know, the last six months has not been boring, I must confess. Sadly, for all the wrong reasons, we've watched these moronic false prophets systematically destroy the faith of millions while they venture out on their own egotistical, narcissistic journeys in trying to fleece the flock. And I shouldn't say trying because they have successfully fleeced the flock. For those of us that truly love Jesus Christ, it's not really shocking that they make fools of themselves. What's shocking and heartbreaking is that they do it at the expense of believers. Believers who have walked away from Christ because of their ridiculous prophecies. I don't think there's ever been a generation where we've seen the absolute releasing of a herd of buffoons posing as prophets who have gotten everything wrong like they have. But I also don't think there's ever been a generation of believers that have believed these clowns, even though they've gotten everything wrong. It is a testimony to the absolute nonsensical delusion that is running rampant in this world today. The followers overwhelmingly have proven that they do not care for the truth of Jesus Christ. They care about their rock star false prophets who can do nothing wrong. They don't care, in fact, whether the prophecies come to pass or are even specific or are even close. They're being entertained and therefore delusion reigns supreme. At every turn, they've been wrong. And, and believe me, they've put on some great performances. They've displayed genuine concern with being alarmed, you know, and, and saying things like, well, this one woke me up out of my sleep. I'm, I'm trembling as I give you the word of the Lord that the Lord has shared with me. And when everything fell flat to the floor, they blamed God, didn't they? It's atrocious. The pinnacle of all this, of course, is they pretty much all prophesied that Trump would win re-election and be in his second term. And of course, when that didn't happen, they were puzzled and even coming to the point of saying that, well, just because we falsely prophesied doesn't make us false prophets. Now, not all of them said that, but there were actually quite a few that did. And even starting something like a we're done apologizing tour as they continue this charade. Now, myself and a couple of others have been warning, at least trying to warn the masses, uh, to please reject these false prophets. But uh, we're getting little to nowhere when it comes to success of uh, pulling people away from this delusion. The absolute desire to continue to prop up and follow false prophets, uh, it's very frustrating. It's downright exhausting. So I came up with an idea of something I'm going to do here today. So here's what I've done. I've made a list and I've titled it My Predictions. Now, I am not a prophet, but I'm going to show you with a list of predictions. And again, I emphasize they're only my predictions. How easy it is to pretend like I can forecast the future. Um, but note in parentheses here, if I wanted to scam people, I would simply pose as a prophet and pretend like God gave me this information. And no matter what you think, it would work. And I'm going to show you why. For the record, today's date is the 18th. So these predictions will run from starting today to infinity. And when you get done reading, you will never be able to call me out on this. You will never be able to prove whether I was wrong. And nor will you be able to verify anything. How do you say? <laughs> okay, here's how. Uh, how did I come to my predictions? Well, using knowledge from the worldwide news organizations as well as entertainment industries, I use my feelings. I also insert a whole heap of complete vagueness, non-specific on times. You'll know what I'm talking about as we roll through this list right now. 
So with uh, no further ado, here are my predictions for the future. Number one, some major rock and roll stars will die soon. Number two, keep your eyes on the southwest of the United States. Uh-oh. Also, watch what will happen in Florida. Is that vague enough for you? I hope so. I'm laying it on pretty thick. Number three, there's going to be a shaking up in the church, and you will see more and more leaders being exposed for their corrupt and crooked dealings. Now, normally with all of these, if, again, if I was a false prophet or even thinking I was a real prophet, uh, I would add a whole lot more flavor and acting to this. I would include sayings like, thus saith the Lord, or maybe I would say something like, so major rock star, rock and roll stars will soon die because for decades they have tried my patience, saith the Lord this day, and now they will meet their demise and be rewarded for their rebellion against me. Stuff like that, right? So I, I realize my list is going to lack a whole bunch of flavor because I'm not pretending to be a false pro a prophet. I'm not pretending to be a prophet. Um, or I'm not trying to deceive you with acting and spice. So uh, I'm just simply putting this list so you can see how stupid this is. Number four, there's going to be a major shaking in the royal family. And there will be, uh, I'm sorry, and there's going to be hidden secrets brought forth to the public that will rearrange the structure of Brit British royalty. Possibly deaths and a changing of the guard. Ooh, what's that all about? Well, you know. You do know this. All of you know this. This is ridiculous, but this is what uh, the prophets do, the false prophets. Number five, the powers of deception will be shaken. Is that vague enough for you? Those who have cheated and corrupted people shall be exposed. Governors shall be chastised and removed. Ooh, juicy. Number six, South America and certain countries will experience upheaval and poverty as they are suffering the effects of economic hardships and continued COVID-19 lockdowns. Number seven, American citizens will rise up more and more against tyranny. There will be protests and outrage. Ooh, second page. The cancel culture will grow to new levels and as, as unrest and chaos expand, under the evil tyrants who think they can stand against the kingdom. Major earthquakes and many other natural disasters will increase in frequency as we continue into these final days of unrest. Number 10, major economic pain will come forth as food prices explode and gas prices ascend into crippling heights because of those who wish to harm people. Jobs will decline. 11. Political shakeups exposed. Party against party and even members of the shared parties will betray each other. Number 12. Keep your eyes on Spain. Number 13. Watch what happens in Europe. See how I'm covering everything? Number 14. Australia has been set aside for a spectacle. Corruption will be exposed as big tech overplays its hand. What's that about? 15. North Korea will begin to again assert itself as a worldwide threat, and Kim Jong-un will begin to rattle his tiny cage and spew his plans to attack various locations around the world. Ooh, do you like the way I worded that one? And trust me, that's by design. I'll explain in a minute. Number 16. Scandals will rock Hollywood as more and more corruption is revealed to the highest levels. Number 17, music videos will become raunchier as debauchery hits its highest levels of perversion. Almost done here. Look at greater attempts to impede on your Second Amendment rights. Number 19, watch for a shocking summer surprise. Is that vague enough for you? Number 20, Joe Biden will further decline. Oop, didn't put a period there. Let me put a period there. Okay, so what's the pattern in all of these predictions? Well, just what it says here. 
a complete lack of um, specificity using vagueness, non-specific on times. Notice that none of these uh, have a time attached to them. That means none of you, especially those who hate me, uh, can ever come back and say that none of these have been fulfilled. Drew, you were wrong. No, you can't say that because it might be fulfilled in the future. The future meaning, hey, even a hundred years from now. But I also want to point out real specific vagueness because you, you see these with the prophets all the time. Look, at keep your eyes on Spain. Well, what does that mean? Well, we don't know. But more so, anything that happens in Spain uh, will fulfill this prophecy, if it were a prophecy. In, in my case, uh, I'm not a prophet. It's a prediction. But you get where I'm going. I wouldn't dare say that I'm a prophet because I fear the Lord and I value his salvation. Uh, I would never do this. This is all being done to simply show you how ridiculous these uh, prophets are today, these false prophets, and how most of uh, what you're seeing here, something will happen to fulfill what I have predicted, not prophesied. So I encourage you to keep your eye on this list. And yes, it is all just stupid, isn't it? But sometimes something like this will slap something, somebody in the face, somebody who's following these ridiculous false prophets, and uh, it'll wake them up. So make a note of these, and maybe you can revisit this once in a while and tell me if any of these predictions were fulfilled. It's all very interesting, isn't it? And again, it's all very dumb.